Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mongooly Show. Today we're going to be taking a look at a bunch of events that are starting that are all going to work towards getting you the Black Knight. But he might not be quite as easy to get as people are thinking, so let's break this down and see how we're actually going to do it. All right, the first thing we're going to take a look at is the store. We're going to see that we're going to get a thousand milestone points over the course of this event every single day. So that's going to be 7,000 points when this event is over. But note, those are milestone points, not orbs. So that does not help you actually unlock him. It just helps you get further down on the chart. Next, I want to show you the Jam Sandwich event that's going to repeat every single day for seven days, but it is a one day event. It is a solo event and you're going to want to spend incursion energy. Now you get 144 incursion energy naturally throughout the day. And every time you refresh it for 50 cores, that's 60. So you only need to refresh it three times in order to get the 320 energy you require to get all the way down to the bottom here. It is at a five to one ratio. So that's why you only need 320 to get that 1600 milestone. If you make it all the way to the bottom, you'll get a thousand orb fragments. 150 gold, 2,000 vials, as well as 3,000 milestone points towards the red letter day milestone. There's also some elite four and five credits. We're not terribly concerned about that. So over the course of seven days, that's going to be 7,000 orb fragments, as well as 21,000 milestones for a total of 28,000 points towards the main event, which is actually pretty decent if we go and take a look at it. Now, keep in mind, you can only do so much in a day, so you really don't want to spend that extra 50 uh, cores on the fourth recharge for your incursion, unless you're really, really desperate for it, but you can't do more in one day and then less the next day. That's just not how this is going to work. Sword Satellite is back. It's happening right now, and that's actually going to be one of the main ways we're going to get points for this event. What you can see is that for every, not every floor, sorry, for 17 of the 40 floors, you will hit a milestone where you will get certain amount of points and certain amount of cold-blooded orb fragments. Now, the cold-blooded orb fragments is how you're actually going to earn points towards the Red Letter Day event, so that's how this is going to work. Now, I don't think that I'm going to make it down to 40 if I'm being perfectly honest with myself. I'm not sure how many of you are. So I kind of did the math as if we're going to hit 30 and I did do it for 40 as well. So if you are a better player than I am and you're going to make it down further than I am, I did the math for you as well on that. But I'm going to say that I'm going to hit, I'm probably going to hit like 33 or 35 but I'm doing the math as if I hit 30. I think that's a pretty reasonable goal for most people. So if you can hit level 30, that's gonna be 14,000 orb fragment points. And if you hit level 40, that's only 18,000. So it's only a difference of 4,000 for those last 10 levels. So don't beat yourself up too, too hard. If you can't make it all the way down to the bottom, it's not gonna help you out all that much. Now that I'm looking at it, I actually realize it's actually level 38, not level 40. So that does make it a little bit easier for quite a few players. So what we're looking at, if you get down to level 30, is 14,000 points. Now there's another 7,000 points in free gifts and 20 28,000 points if you can complete the jam sandwich every single day for a total of 49,000 points. Now, if we take a look at the chart, you can see that that's enough to get you milestone 15, which is more than enough to get you the tulip bouquet, all the carnage symbiote vials, the first 25 black knights, as well as 15 red goblin shards, which is okay. But obviously we want those other 15 and if we can, the other 30 black knight shards. That's what we're really going for here. So to get down to that extra level, you do need to get, or it'll be incredibly beneficial to you if you can get to level 38 in Sword Satellite. That'll give you the extra 4,000 points that you need to hit Milestone 16, which will give you another 15 Black Knight Shards. It's worth mentioning, if you can get all the Carnage Symbiote Vials as well as the Tulip Bouquet, that's gonna be worth 112,000 points towards the month-long event, so not bad. If we head back to the weekly blog from Friday, we can see that there's a Gear Strike Orange event that's gonna be happening on Sunday, March 3rd, and only on Sunday, March 3rd. So it's a one day blitz event starting then. It's gonna be going for 24 hours to avoid tiebreaker issues with the leaderboard. What you're gonna get is commanders over level 50 and above will earn red letter day milestone progress with each blitz win in this blitz only. So this is the only one that's gonna count and it's only gonna give milestone points. Now I've, I stress that because I've heard people talk about getting more orbs this way. This will not give you orbs. It'll give you milestone points towards that event. Now, if you can use this uh, blitz in order to get lower down, that might help you get those shards from the chart that you missed, but it will not give orbs. That is the way I'm reading this. That's the way this makes sense to me. Uh, maybe we'll come back on Sunday and break this down if they change something between now and then, but here and now, milestone points, not orb fragments. So now that we know how to get the orbs, let's take a look at how good the orbs actually are. So if we go up here, we can actually see that the left and right pillar are pretty similar. You're going to have a chance at getting some of these uh, items. It goes up to 20 of each, which is okay, but it's a 0.44%. 
So it's not great. The stuff in here, not things that I generally need all that much. So I'm guessing this is gonna be the weaker of the two. If we take a look at the second pillar though, these are some actually pretty decent things. Now you notice it's a 0.37% chance. So it's not a good chance you're gonna get them. Um, but if we go down, oh, sorry, I guess I should say uh, for a times four, if you go down lower, it's a times two and it's a better chance you're gonna unlock these. Now each one of these pillars is a 50-50. So you're going to get one of the, you have a 50 chance of getting one or the other. And then once you get into this one, honestly, even the two of most of these, I'd still be relatively happy with. There's some that I need more than others, sure. But overall, a 50% chance of getting something on this list is okay. And because the bottom pillar is basically the exact same, you, you've got two 50-50 chances of getting something okay, which I think is all right. It's not ideal. It's not, I'm not crazy excited about it, but it's a fine. Now, if we take a look at the Black Knight shards, because that's what we're all here for, you can see that you have a 5% chance of getting 10 shards. Not great, but not the worst that we've seen before. But then you've got a 55% chance of only getting four shards. Now, it is nice that it's four and not two. I will take that as a win. So here's the problem that I have for this event. Let's say you get level 30 on the satellite you get 14,000 points. Let's say you do every single jam sandwich that you possibly can, that's another 7,000 points. So that's only three and a half orbs from that. That's only seven orbs from the other event. You're opening 10 orbs. If you get the bare minimum on every single one of those orbs, that's 40 points. If you get to milestone 15, that's only another 25 points. You're only looking at 65 points. Even when you add in the free uh, claim you got on Friday with the other five, you're only looking at 70 points or 70 shards towards this character, which is not enough to unlock him which means you can do basically everything right and still not get this character. Now, I don't think that's likely. I think there's a good chance you're gonna get like a 10 drop or a eight or a six or something like that that'll help you out. Probably, hopefully a couple and hopefully there's more ways to get orbs than I'm aware of right now. But looking at this, that's a little bit rough. Even if you make it to level 38 in the sword satellite, which is the last one that gives you shards and you get, uh, that'll put you down to milestone 16, which gives you another 15 shards from Black Knight. What you're gonna be looking at, if you get the bare minimum, is 48 from your shards, 48 shards from your orb opening, another 40 from the chart here, five from the free claim, and that's only 93, which is still not enough to unlock him, and you completed the sword tower, sword satellite, whatever. I don't like that. That doesn't really sit well with me. Now, the odds of you getting minimum for all of your orb, opening, orb openings are bad. And I'm really hoping that there's gonna be like a free claim gift on Friday or something where we can get more orb fragments for them, especially considering we're gonna be sitting at 3.5 orb fragments from the, the jam sandwich event, which is just silly to me. So I'm really hoping that I'm missing something there, but based off the charts that we have right now, how this is gonna work, how we're looking at it, I don't love it. Sorry. Now this isn't really worth making an entire video about, but while I've got you here, I might as well tell you there is an alliance-wide event going on right now as well, where you wanna be playing in raid battles. If you do, you're gonna be earning Carnage Symbiote Vials as well as a bunch of other stuff, but the Carnage Symbiote Vials is what we're really looking for. That's what's gonna get you your month-long progress that we really desperately need. Now there are caps on how well your alliance can do, which is if you wanna do a raid battle, it's 200 points and you have a cap of 240,000 points. That works out to 24 players doing 10 raids a day in order to hit that cap. If you've got less players than that, you can do more than 10 raids a day pretty easily, so that shouldn't be an issue. But if you've got a full alliance of 24 people who are pulling their weight, this should be totally fine to hit that rate. You've also got the hive mind characters. All you have to do is have them for that first milestone. As long as you've got all five of them, or I guess your entire alliance has all five of them, you will blow past that 195 mark pretty easily. If you're struggling, one thing you can do is turn the raid uh, difficulty down to the point where there's no restrictions, then you can bring in your five team of hive for every single node and you should just blow through this. That is those two milestones alone. You don't have to have a single character at five, six or seven stars. You don't have to open a single allied orb fragment. That'll get you all of the month long points that you need from the vials. So that's pretty good. And then obviously if you wanna open orb fragments or if you've got some of the characters at five, six or seven, you're gonna do even better. Just make sure that you're part of an active alliance and that you guys are all pulling your weight and you should be just fine on this. All right, that's all we've got for today. Are you thinking you're gonna unlock your Black Knight? Did I do some of the math wrong? I'm really hoping that I am or that there's a different way to get orbs because I really wanna unlock this character. I did spend some cores ahead of time, but I didn't buy any offers. So I'm really hoping that I'll be able to unlock him but he might just be like a three star. He might be pretty small. So we'll have to see how we do. Let me know how you do down in the comments down below. I'd love to hear what your progress is and tell me how far down in Sword Satellite you're planning on making it and if you make it as far as you think you're going to. 
All right, if you made it this far, you probably like this video, hit that like button, it does help out quite a bit. And if you enjoy this content and want more of it, hit subscribe. We also record live over at twitch.tv slash The Mongoolie Show, and we just started doing it over at kick.com slash The Mongoolie Show. I think that's right, I'm not as positive on that one. We literally just started yesterday with that, so we'll see how that goes. But if you are on Twitch or Kick, please head over to those, consider giving me a follow so you know when we start live. I'd love to see you over there. And until next time, Commanders, good luck to you.